Why'd the man fall down the well? He couldn't see that well. <laughs> Truth is, I used to hate facial hair. Then it grew on me. Welcome back to Fabulous Morons Doing Idiotic Things. Which way are you going? I'm going the opposite way of you two circus. I'll tell you that right now. The way you go, the way you're not. Look at all these windows. Oh my goodness. All the windows to look in. What? I don't get it either. Yeah, but that's not surprising though. There's a whole lot that neither one of you get. I just made that dude jump out of his skin. Mr. Guy looks like he weighs 160 pounds. <sighs> you better lay off them cigarettes. Come to think of it, not only are you shoving cameras all up in somebody's face, now they gotta also deal with you smelling like an ashtray. She looked and went back to work. <laughs> that dude just jumped out of his skin. I think he just hit a panic. He hit a panic button. Did he? Oh, he oh did. Oh, my God, he hit a panic button. <laughs> yeah, clearly he didn't bring his crystal ball in today, so he don't know what's running through your mind. Are you guys, guys this dumb? I mean, think about it. You're two losers out here pacing around the building with cell phones. How... How do you think you look? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I hit a panic button. I mean, some people are dropped on their head as a child, and clearly some are repeatedly flung against the wall. He hit a panic button. What a tool. Tools are useful. What's y'all's excuse? <laughs> oh, and don't forget, these are full-grown men. I mean, we're talking about grown men. They got at least be in their 40s or 50s. At least. Grown men. Act like it's outside a window. All because they think they're going to make a couple dollars. And once you realize that, I mean, there's only a certain demographic of people that would follow that kind of thing. I mean, you got to be a loser or a non-productive bum. I mean, to find this kind of content, oh yeah, I support that guy acting like a child outside that working man's window. You just go on like hyenas laughing, as if there was a punchline or something is genuinely funny. There's nothing funny. Just losers with cell phones. <laughs> Look at me. I mean, just think, these people probably raise children. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You're just trying to get your picture. That's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. I can't believe you, you see that little panic button down there, guys. Yeah, he did. He sure there, did. There's the panic button. What, he what she's going to close the blinds for him. He didn't know how. <laughs> Woman who closed the <laughs> oh my goodness, you're a pathetic excuse of a man. He's got all the Did I miss the punchline? Does anybody here find this funny? What are these hyenas laughing at? This is probably one of the dumbest things that we could watch on film. And they act like they're at the comedy club. They must have gotten stoned or something before coming out here. It's just, it makes no sense. Grown men, this thirsty. Oh, yeah, have a woman, there. close your blinds. I can still see you. It's like we're dealing with the mind of a very small child. I can still see you. And the, the nonstop laughing. It, it's something that ain't even funny. I would laugh if it was funny. Not funny. Very dumb. Takes a very small-minded, insecure man to go out with a cell phone and bother other people for their own amusement in the hopes of making $20, $40, $10 off their video. I'll never be that way. <laughs> Freaking hilarious. He's hiding in a dark room. He's such a brave, brave man. I'm not talking to you. One hour later. I'll be filming. Whatever I want. Now, just to break this down. He says, what we filming? He says, whatever I want. And by him saying that to him in his small little mind, he feels like he just told the officer, I do what I want where I want. When he goes back to his little buddies, this whole conversation is, I told him. You sound stupid. You don't sound impressive. You don't sound like you're cool. You sound like a moron with a cell phone who don't have any excuse for anything. Well, yeah. What's your name and badge number? Oh, what? You know MCR 8.115, the Michigan Supreme Court said I can go in the publicly accessible areas of the courthouse and record. Are you aware of that? Read the Michigan Supreme Court case ruling. What's your name, badge number? Now, all the way up to this point, he's got to run that reckless little grill of his. He thought he was big and bad. And I'll say what I want to, and I'll do what I want to. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm not angry at all. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling. What's wrong with you? I have a loud voice. Okay. I have a quiet voice. You keep your voice down. I know. I'm not going to keep my voice down. We'll talk like I normally talk, okay. and you can suck. Roast it. Hands off me. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Hey, y'all need to do something about this son of a bitch. Get your hands off me, you bitch. All right, that's Get your back, bitch. Give me give me my other phone to record your bitch. Okay, give me my back. I'll call you whatever. I want to call freedom of speech. All right.
And you'll get your camera snatched. That's the what. What happened to the tough guy? What happened to the guy that does whatever he wants to do? I told him. Where, where did that guy go? All I hear is whining and crying. Please give me back my stuff. Please give me back my stuff. It's mine. It's mine. But I don't like what you said about me. I'm going to strike your channel. Strike these nuts. Like property back. Hang on to this for a second. No, you ain't going to hang on. You're going to give my property back is what you're going to do. Yeah, you keep saying that. But I don't see nobody doing it, princess. That's that. That's felony death. You sure about that? Todd, we'll go to King County Sheriff's Department next. I'll file a complaint. Hey, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Stay in here for a second. Give my shit back. It's still over. No, give me my camera back, motherfucker. And he broke my gimbal. What? And he put hands on me. That's assault. You know, I, I'm, I'm looking around the scene here and I'm thinking to myself, and I've come to the conclusion we don't care. Nobody's seen nothing. Screw your gimbal and whatever you're talking about. It's like the people that y'all go around harassing. That's a you problem. We don't care. Nobody worried about you. Nobody care about your gimbal or what you're going through. So what? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha.